Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lord Ice, once again your host, and welcome to episode 9 of Battle for the Alpha Quadrant. As promised, next episode will probably be the traits tutorial, but until then, we have one more mission to get through, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So, we've got secret orders. Captain. Starfleet Intelligence has learned more about Ambassador Bavat and this secret organization of which he claims to be a member. Marta, the woman Starfleet rescued from the treasure trading station, claims that the Klingons have a secret base in the Hromi Cluster that they are using as a staging area for an attack on the Federation. I have been authorized to provide you with the coordinates of the Klingons' base. Proceed to the Briar Patch and find out what happened... Er, and find out what the Klingons are hiding. If there are any weapons there, you are to deactivate or destroy them. And we get... Looks like some pretty crap stuff. And... We're actually at the Kasei system, because I misread earlier. No, not here. So, we need to go to the Briar Patch. And with the miracle of quantum slipstream, we're here in about 10 seconds. Well, 5 seconds. No! Not the serious fucking sector block. Enter the briar patch. <clears throat> Captain Omega, long range sensors are picking up several Klingon battle groups. They appear to be placing self-replicating disruptor cannon turrets throughout this region of space. If we don't take out these cannons now, this entire asteroid belt will be bristling with Klingon defenses. Captain, the composition of this nebula will make maneuvering at high speeds impossible. In addition, the Briar Patch contains pockets of Metreon gas, the gas is highly reactive to weapons fire and could be very dangerous. I recommend we keep the interdictor at least four kilometers away from the gas clouds, Captain. This should keep us safely out of range if one of them happens to ignite. However, the gas can be used as a weapon, Captain. Do you remember the Riker maneuver? If we detonate the pockets of gas when the Klingons are close to them, they'll do a lot of our work for us. Hmm. Wondering whether or not I should demonstrate what happens. Ah, uh, why not? I'll demonstrate on this one, because it's closer. This mission is a touch annoying, because you literally cannot go to full impulse. Okay. Demonstration, now. Yeah, it starts exploding, and ow, 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 ow. Ow! I didn't expect it to hurt that much. Who? You have been warned, ladies and gentlemen. Don't do that. It's not a good idea. Hold on a second. I guess I don't have any. Oh, well. Now, what it said earlier about you not being able to maneuver at high speed was lying. You can use evasive maneuvers while you're in here, and it'll kind of substitute full impulse. Although it still has the cooldown and everything. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Ow, ow, Basically, you have to find a pair of Klingon turrets and basically fight Klingons. That's pretty much the gist of the entire mission. Fight Klingons. So, 
fighter squadron over there. I wonder what they're doing. Metreon particle trace. That's neat. Okay. So yeah, no full impulse in the patch. Manifolds can't handle it. Of course, this entire mission is... Well, half of this mission is kind of a reference to... um. What's it called? Star Trek Insurrection. Where they had um, a mission in the Briar Patch that didn't exactly go peachy keen. That's where the Mike Breaker maneuver came from. I really miss having a cloaking device. Swing around here. And now we get to go to the big rock. The big rock over there. Sir, sensors are tracking a Klingon battleship patrolling near the large asteroid. It appears to be guarding a facility on the asteroid's surface. Energy readings for the facility suggest some sort of military research base. To hell with my manifolds. Oh, that was too close. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. <laughs> Pretty standard business to be totally honest. That's the battleship. See if the torpedo spread will one shot any of them. No? Hmm. Base has been thoroughly disarmed. Captain, the patrol has been destroyed. We should be able to proceed. The away team is standing by. They will transport on your command. What do you mean they? You're coming with us, Smeeg. You're always coming with us. Need someone to use electrogravitic shift. There are several Klingons here, but my tricorder is picking up two additional life signs in the area ahead. Hostages, maybe? Alrighty. It's gonna be another annoying part of this mission. You're gonna see this room again, let's just say that. That reminds me, I need to turn up audio, don't I? Let's hope that doesn't screw with anything too much. Come here, boy. How did you survive? Of everything, how did you survive the longest? <laughs> Don't underestimate the small guys, I guess. Still dead. Munitions? Warrior, warrior. Bavat demands you increase your. No! Pulse Tachyon's making it to destroy, yada yada yada. Pulse tachyons are first are likely to destroy the torpedo in the launch tube. Noted.
So yeah, if you stand here, you can get some random techno babble. Enemy Not here for techno babble. Da, da, da. Go ahead and rob the Klingons. I'm sure they won't mind. I mean, they, they'll have no need of this stuff in Stovacor. <clears throat> I'd be happy to tell you about tell you what I know, but ask fast. I'm going to have I'm going to the shuttle bay and getting out of here. How did you get here? I'm an independent researcher. The Klingons have been putting word out that they're paying a lot of latinum for simple projects. It sounded like a good deal. Then I got here and the good deal became work or die. I should have known better. They used to, there used to be about twenty of us working on various projects. As people completed their work they would disappear. I heard one of the Klingons say my time was up. You got here just in time. Okay, so back. What do you know about Ambassador Bavat? He says he's keeping the Klingon Empire strong by prolonging the war with the Federation. Bavat thinks that unless the Klingons have an enemy to focus their energies on, they'll fight amongst themselves and tear the Empire apart. Not implausible. Bavad and his plans to keep the Bavad has a plan to keep the war going. He hasn't let much information slip, but I know he has found some sort of device abandoned in deep space. He wants us to use it in an attack so horrible that the people of the Federation will demand Starfleet take revenge. The fighting will continue for years. What are you going to do now? I'm finding the first ship that will fly and getting out of here. I'm done working for the Klingons. Some of them are honorable, but Bavat can't be trusted. His desire for the war with the Federation to continue has blinded him. What do you know about the weapons here? The Klingons are planning to do something big. They're forcing us to they've been forcing us to design weapons. They want us they want improved disruptors and torpedoes for their ships, but some of their demands have been very specific. They want a weapon that can punch through solid neutronium, which is impossible, and they keep talking about torpedoes with payloads big enough to destroy a small planet. Isn't that just great? There are prototypes of some of the new weapons in the laboratory here. If I were you, I'd destroy them. No one needs that kind of destructive power. Although, I did the math behind it a long time ago, and I calculated the standard quantum torpedo has a yield of about 4 million Nagasaki bombs, I think it was. So yeah, every quantum torpedo my ship fires, by all rights, should level planets. But, that's techno babble. Thank you. These Klingons have had me designing weapons for them at gunpoint. These scientists, the scientists who finished their research are taken away. We're the only two left. They have a code sequence in the main lab door, but I can help you there. Use this descrambler code to bypass it. Both scientists are safe, sir. It's time to find those weapons. I'm gonna go ahead and scan this anomaly. It might be a weapon. I'm recording this later at night than I usually record most episodes, so if I stumble a little bit more, that's why. Of course, we can see on the mini-map that there are enemies. And I can see a target handler. Let's see, can I snipe him? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Buff passive. Hmm. Just how far away can I get? There's no real boss for this mission. It's pretty standard. Buff up, buff up, buff up, buff up, buff up, buff up. And boom.
Yeah. Real simple mission. I'd rob the Klingons. Pop this ability here. Do all my cooldowns, because this is pretty much the last, well, last-ish room. Swordmaster, warrior, warrior. So, you can see while I mouse over these, and I don't, I know you probably can't see my mouse. That's recorder settings. It was either that or a big black box. Um, you can see munitions officer, warrior, munitions, back, target handlers, etc, etc. Pretty standard stuff. Hmm, what are these warriors over here? Hmm. Well, we'll find out sooner or later. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Hi. You shouldn't have been vaporized that quickly. In fact, you're still alive. You're, you, you, you've just perfected invisibility. Also, crew, you can feel free to attack. They saw us. Thank you to Luctalon. Thank you for taking all the fun out of it. Put spatial charge on the weapon. Rate a crate. Get some shield charges. Uh, a couple of munitions officers. Turbo is nice and petted. Oops. See how they rushed in like that? That's why I set them to passive before I start lining up my shot. Because they will rush at the enemy. And be idiots. Because there are a couple of powers you can activate that will actively tell them, hey, go talk, go attack. Alright, so that's a sword master, but I can't flank him. I'll probably take him out last. Can't flank the target handler either. Rather kill the sword master. Let's see if I can get up on these crates. Nice vantage point. Perfect. Crit a passive. And just wait for everything to come off cooldown. Well, strike force. Or strike team or whatever. <sighs> Wait for it. And somehow I knocked back the guy next to him. I think this rifle has a KB3 mod on it. And of course we're going to do the exact same thing, except we're not going to use Strike Team this time. 
I don't really think we need to. I'll reduce this cooldown anyway, because this is one of those defend the console rooms, if I remember correctly. Now we wait for everything to come back off cooldown for just a tick. Aww. He only barely survived. Dark Handler. Astro Swords. Eh, what the hell. I've done enough sniping. Sniping's slow. Alright, so the room is clear. We can go and put bombs on things, and the mission's maybe half over. One thing they did in this mission that I kind of didn't like is they drew out the length of it. You'll see soon enough. Captain Omega, ship scanners indicate a computer core in your vicinity. You mean in our vicinity? You should upload its contents to the Interdictor. It may give us insight into how the Klingons were planning to use these weapons. We may even find hints of Bavat's ultimate plan. Hmm. So, go over here, scan this. Why not? Weapon just so we look cool. Now, oh, think, think, think. Remember, um, because I'm pretty sure a patrol beam's in. So, set boss over there. Hmm. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Data uploaded. Captain, there's a message coming through the comm, linking it to you now. Ha 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 ha! Admiral Omega, you are so predictable! And like a Tarkalian sheep, you were blindly led to the slaughter. I knew you would find my weapon research station. I sent Marta to give you its location. Now that I have you just where I want you, I've closed the blast doors and triggered the base's self-destruct mechanism. You're trapped! Even now, my ships are escaping with weapons and data we cared to save from your Federation meddling. It is a good day for you to die. Admiral. Eh, no. Oh, 
Um, yep. Early point. So, not only did he lure us here to destroy his own base, he's sent members of his guard to die. Yeah, I took care of that target handler real easy. Oh, it looks like Lucoria's taking some damage, but she's a healer. She'll be fine. And she was fine. Oh, I'm so proud of my crew. Sometimes they're idiots, but most times they're pretty good. Too close to the door and it gets damaged. Mm. Let's go ahead and pop ambush. Hm, so much for the blast door. Captain, we are out of the range of the base's transport inhibitors. We should be able to beam up from here. Yep, right into beam up, Smeeg. You didn't have to ask. Sir, sensors indicate several Klingon ships are attempting to escape the system. They appear to be trying to use the asteroid belt to mask their warp core signatures. If we hurry, we should be able to intercept them. Yeah, close the dialogue a little early. Time for us to sh get. Oh. Thought you said ships. This is literally it. This is the end of the mission. Eh. Just struggling to control the freaking ship. Turns too well. <laughs> And that's the end of the mission. That's literally it. That's all you're do. You're done. Not now to Loctalon. Okay, now to Loctalon. Excellent work, Captain Omega. Bavat won't be getting his hands on those experimental weapons. And we have transmitted the data from the computer core to Starfleet Intelligence. It's going to ask me to depart the system, and I'm going to say no, because I can turn the mission from here. That was a close one, Admiral. It's a testament to your academy training that you and your crew survived. Survived? That was easy. Let's just take the Neutronium. And that's pretty much it for Secret Orders. Yeah. Seemed like a long mission because it was boring as hell. But other than that... Pretty much done. So, next episode will probably be a special, and I'll do my best to ramble on about the trait system. After that, 
Mm, I'll see about getting input on. Although, I'll probably just do the trait system now. Alright, until then, this has been Lordice. See you out there.